Hey friends, this is Sketch Dirt and I'm Marla and today we're gonna to be drawing a strawberry. Uh, I'm gonna start and I'm gonna use 4B and 6B pencils for this lesson. I, I'm using slightly darker pencils so that way it shows up on camera better. Feel free to use whatever works for you. Um, to get started for the basic strawberry shape, you're gonna you're gonna start sketching a uh, a heart, kind of a simple heart shape, except not so perfect, not not so perfect edges, and not that perfectly squared off uh, corner that a heart has. You're sort of just going and and making lines in in a basic heart shape, and you're just sort of lightly penciling it in to get started, and just defining what those edges are for the piece. When you start drawing the leaves, you're gonna start basically not drawing perfect leaf shapes. You're gonna start by giving the impression of leaves and you're kind of just giving the impression of the piece, this this green leafy piece that sits up on top of the, the strawberry. And so you're defining a few edges, but you're not yet really adding definition and you're not adding real shading. You're just sort of penciling in the lines to give the impression and to give you an idea if you're if you're on track with the shape that you want. Um, once you do that, you just start defining the edges a little bit, but uh, nothing super defined yet. When you start drawing the seeds, you're gonna notice that at the top, like a uh, heavier, thicker portion of the berry, the seeds are a bit bigger. Um, they're not perfectly round, and you don't wanna make perfect circles. You wanna make kind of a cross between like a, like a teardrop shape and an oval, and on some of the seeds, since there are so many, you wanna do a bit of both, but it's not a, a clearly defined shape. You also wanna start by drawing some of the seeds on on the on the side of the berry to make it to give the impression that they extend all the way around next you're gonna go back in and you're gonna start adding that definition and you're gonna start adding that shading to the leaves and you're gonna start uh, defining those shapes and what you want them to be and this is really in your control uh, as to what you want this to look like, but overall it should give the impression of leaf shapes as opposed to that that classic uh, leaf shape that we all we all know and that sort of defines what a leaf looks like. This is these are just um, basic basic lines that give that impression instead and feel free to add uh, your own approach to this and, and the way you see a strawberry. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding a bit more definition, a bit more shading. We're going to add the first layer of shading around the berry and this is really light. You're not yet doing really dark shading because you just want to for yourself see how it looks when you start adding volume as opposed to just a flat um, non-shaded space. You want to be careful not to shade over the seeds because this is also what's going to help add that dimension and that very uh, strawberry look um, that you're going for. So you just lightly shade those areas in, leave some areas clean and then uh, start adding more uh, more definition to the lines. Again, being careful not to draw over the areas where you've put seeds in, so that way it doesn't flatten your shape out again after you added all the, the dimension with the shading. Um, you're then gonna start adding even more definition to the leaves, and you're further defining what these are and what they look like on your berry and you're going to start adding some shadows and some light areas um, to further define those areas and to further kind of separate the leaves from the actual berry part. Now you're going to go in and this is the second layer of shading and definition and this is really where you're going to start seeing the volume 
um, added and the, and the roundness um, to your berry. And you're gonna go in and define those seeds a little sharper. You're gonna define the edges a little sharper. And you're gonna um, add a bit darker areas to the actual berry and the leaves themselves. Um, when you're doing this again, you're kind of looking at it and you're determining for yourself where you want those areas to be, where you want those light and dark areas, where uh, the darks are, where the definition is. I will say when you add uh, some darker shading to the berry, this gives the impression that it's it's a red healthy berry as opposed to maybe an unripened berry and uh, that just depends on on the look that you're going for. Uh, right now I'm adding a bit of shadow to the base of the berry so that way it looks like it's kind of anchored um, there as opposed to floating in space. Again that's that's your choice is to for for your project for what you're wanting uh, this to look like and I'm adding um, more dark areas to further define um, what that redness and and how this strawberry will look um, and giving giving that volume and that's basically it that's your strawberry um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, please subscribe um, please take a look at my other videos I really appreciate you watching and I look forward to making more thanks so much